Number 8. 2023 Lincoln sent with extra V and exerg. Graded as MS-68 read by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, a stellar example of this newly discovered variety which shows what appears to be an extra letter V following the designer's initials VDB along the bottom of Lincoln's portrait. This variety was identified earlier this year, but although NGC has certified over 80 specimens in all grade, less than 10 have been graded MS-68 RD. This highly sought-after specimen ended up selling for $780. Number 7. Vividly Tone 1938 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-67 Plus by PCGS and later endorsed by CAC. A marvelous superb gem example with sharply detailed device elements and russety, amber, olive green hues that grace the surfaces around the borders. It was sold for $1,200 on November 19, 2023. Number 6. 1912 Proof Wheat Penny with Iridescent Toning on Both Sides. Graded as PR66 Brown by NGC. According to Grading Service, the matte grain of 1912 proofs typically is deeper than for other dates 1909-16, and this issue is also notable for its uniformly bold strike. While these conditions make for a wonderful illustration of the design, they have also tended to limit the number of fully red survivors. An odd feature of copper and bronze coins is that the most fully struck pieces are also the ones most susceptible to toning. This toned specimen fetched a sum of $2,040. Number 5. 1954s Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by NGC. This superb gem is extraordinarily beautiful with brilliant luster that shines through gold, russet, and iridescent toning on the obverse. The reverse blends brilliant silver luster and splashes of gold toning with peripheral iridescence. This specimen ended up selling for $1,860. Number 4. 1946 Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded as MS67 FS by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, full steps examples of the 1946 Jefferson Nickel are occasionally seen in MS65 through MS66, but superb gems like the present are rare. This coin displays a hint of iridescent color across silver gray surfaces, with sharp devices and pristine luster. The coin is struck from fresh dyes with no metal flow in the margins. Sold on November 17, 2023 for $3,120. Number 3. 1936 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR67 by NGC. The Philadelphia Mint resumed commercial proof offerings for collectors in 1936, after a two-decade hiatus. A small mintage of 3,837 proof Washington quarters was accomplished, the first time the design was struck in proof format. This spectacular superb gem offers sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved surfaces, with reflective fields and outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $3,240. Number 2. 1909 SVDB Cent. Graded as MS65 Red and Brown by NGC. Victor David Brenner's initials are bold on this piece, and the central devices also show strong definition. Golden copper and chestnut brown hues intermingle across each side. The preservation is excellent, and only a few faint deeper brown toning spots are visible in the right obverse field. This key date is sought after in all grades, but especially at the gem. It was sold for $3,600. Number 1. 1955 D. Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded as MS66 FS by PCGS, Grading Service reports only 45 examples of the 1,955 D. Jefferson Nickel in Full Steps grades, the finest of which are in MS66 Full Steps. This premium gem displays delicate ice blue and pale lilac color across satiny, near pristine luster. The strike is sharp throughout, and there is little evidence of dye erosion in the fields. An essential registry coin that ended up selling for $5,520 on November 17, 2023. That wraps up today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you have one of this gems don't hesitate to leave a comment below this video. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe buttons. Bye. Number 8. 1975 D. Jefferson Nickel. Although circulated and slightly worn, it fetched a significant sum at Heritage Auctions. What makes this scratched 5-cent piece so valuable is that it comes with mint error known as misplaced mint mark. Even without close inspection, a trained eye can spot that the mint mark D, which stands for the Denver Mint, 
is not in its proper position. Coin shows weak strike and Monticello steps are almost totally flat. This error nickel ended up selling for $1,080. Number 7. 1959 Washington quarter struck on a 5 cent, nickel, planchet. Graded as MS66 by PCGS. It is a coin variety that resulted from an error during the minting process. In numismatics, this type of error is often referred to as a wrong planchet error. Instead of being struck on a standard quarter planchet, which is composed of a copper nickel alloy, this particular coin was struck on a planchet intended for a 5 cent, nickel, coin. Nickels have a different composition, typically consisting of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The nickel planchet is smaller and lighter than the quarter planchet, so a quarter struck on a nickel planchet exhibits a smaller diameter and lighter weight than a normal quarter, and some lettering are not fully struck, in this case date and liberty on obverse and states of America and quarter dollar on reverse. It was sold for $1,560. Number 6. 1968 S. Kennedy half dollar struck on an elliptical planchet. Graded as PR66 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a standard silver clad half dollar weighs 11.50 grams. An elliptical clip mint error originates when the planchet strip fails to advance sufficiently between blows from the planchet cutter. Such underweight out of round planchets are typically screened out by riddlers at the mint, but that was not the case for the present piece. It is oval shaped, and shows reading between 5 and 11 o'clock where it was struck flush with the collar die. The date and mint mark are complete and bold. Erty is absent, as is all of dollar and most of America. It ended up selling for $2,520. Number 5. 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a cent planchet. Graded as PR66 red by PCGS. It is not often that a Jefferson Nickel can be called full red, but that is the case with this exemplary off-metal proof mint error. Struck flush against the collar die at 11 o'clock. The legends are complete, but the date, mint mark, liberty, and e pluribus unum have a stretched appearance from unrestrained outward expansion. About half of each border lacks a rim, though an unusually broad railroad rim is present near trust. It was sold for $2,640. Number 4. 1943 Lincoln Cent struck on a silver dime planchet graded as AU58 by PCGS. The strike is almost perfectly centered on the planchet, and the border legends are mostly visible, just slightly weak in areas. Strike weakness affects the O and 1 and the lapels of Lincoln's jacket. Luster remains in the fields, and only slight high point friction is evident on the devices. An attractive example of this war era mint error. It was sold for $3,840. Number 5. 2018 P. Roosevelt dime struck on a 98% iron planchet. Graded as MS61 by PCGS. A typical clad dime weighs 2.27 grams. A predominantly steel planchet, likely made for coinage in an unknown foreign country, was struck between Roosevelt dime dies. Customary for an undersized planchet, the strike is mushy at the borders and centers. Nonetheless, Roosevelt's profile is bold. The surfaces are predominantly gray but display peripheral walnut brown shades. It was sold for $3,360. Number 2. 1969 Lincoln Cent struck on a clad dime blank and with early brockage obverse on reverse. Graded as MS65 by PCGS. This remarkable double mint error has a full brockage reverse and is struck on an off-metal planchet. The story of this coin begins with a different Lincoln Cent adhering to the reverse die after its strike. That coin then served as a surrogate reverse die to the present off-metal coin, which was struck between the tilted obverse die and the obverse of the previously struck coin. It was sold for $4,920. Number 1. 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a 90% silver planchet. A rare transitional alloy error. A 90% silver Roosevelt dime has a statutory weight of 2.5 grams. During the enormous mintages of dimes in both 1964 and 1965, the U.S. Mint attempted to segregate the silver and clad planchets such that the former was delivered to 1964 dated dies, and the latter was coined by 1965 dated dies. The segregation was largely successful, but 1964 dimes exist on clad planchets, and 1965 dimes are known on silver planchets. This is an unmarked and satiny example with light lilac toning. States of America is incompletely brought up, 
likely due to a slightly convex reverse die. It was sold for $13,200. Number 7. 1943 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a steel scent planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions. The zinc-plated steel alloy scent was a one-year experiment by the U.S. Mint to reserve copper for World War II munitions. Off-metal errors involving this briefly used scent composition are rare. The present mint error features a wartime nickel struck on a steel scent planchet. The coin was struck aligned with the collar die at 6 o'clock. As a result, the upper obverse and lower reverse have a normal appearance, aside from the uncharacteristic dusky gray color. It was sold for $1,680. Number 6. 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Obverse. Graded as AU58 by NGC. A spectacular spread throughout the obverse legends identifies the memorable FS101-1955 Double Die variety. Collectors were baffled by FS101 upon its discovery, since knowledge of the coin production process was limited in the hobby during the 1950s. Today, we know the doubling was caused by a rotated second hubbing. This is a problem-free chocolate brown near mint example with minimal marks and a single small spot at the obverse center. This specimen ended up selling for $2,400. Number 5. 1943 Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse graded as AU53 by PCGS. There are several double die varieties for the 1943 Washington Quarter. FS103 is the most dramatically doubled, and this is the variety listed in the guide book. The present example is nearly uncirculated. Detail is strong, but slight friction over the devices determines the AU53 designation. The coin is untoned and satiny with few marks. It was sold for $3,360. Number 4. 1916 D. Mercury Dime. Graded as VF20 by NGC. This is a delightful, problem-free collector-grade example of the key date 1916 D. Mercury Dime. Where is consistent with the grade, and natural stone gray hues characterize each side. I appeal is excellent. The Denver Mint only struck 264,000 Mercury Dimes during the series' first year of production, and this remains the biggest challenge for collectors of most grade levels. It was sold for $3,840. Number 3. 1913 Buffalo Nickel, double struck and rotated between strikes. Graded as AU50 by NGC. The first strike was normal, but the coin was not ejected. It remained in the die chamber, rotated approximately 20 degrees clockwise, and was struck a second strike. The second strike effaced the date from the first strike, but we know that the coin was struck in 1913 because the reverse is the Type 1 design with a raised mound below the bison. The Indian has a snub-nosed appearance, and a pie-shaped field is present on the right portion of his neck. The bison has two profile. This elusive error coin ended up selling for $4,320. Number 2. 1944 Steel Scent. Comes with environmental damage therefore PCGS assigned VF details with no numerical grade. Most collectors and many non-collectors are very familiar with the famous 1943 bronze scent errors, struck on leftover blanks from the previous year's coinage. The less famous but equally important 1944 steel scent errors occurred in the same way, struck on leftover steel blanks from the 1943 coinage. The 1944 steel scents, like their 1943 counterparts, are known from all three operating mints during World War II, with a total estimated population of less than 40 coins. This rare specimen ended up selling for $13,200. Number 1. 1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. The 1969 S. Double Die Obverse Lincoln sent is one of the most famous rarities in this series or any other, well known even to the uninitiated. It takes top spot in Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett's 100 Greatest Modern U.S. Coins and dominates the cover of that reference. This cherry picker's guide variety has been highly publicized of the years, yet it remains elusive in any grade, a testament to its rarity. It was sold for $20,400. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Your likes, comments and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Stay well and see you in the next episode. Number 7. 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel. 
graded as MS-68 full steps by PCGS. PCGS has certified more than 80,000 of the silver alloy wartime nickels that were issued between 1942 and 1945, yet just 68 submissions of all issues and varieties have earned the MS-68 numerical grade, 4 are MS-68+, and none are numerically finer. This impressive superb gem features a bold strike throughout, brilliant and frosty silver-gray color, and lovely gold and iridescent toning. It was sold for $7,500 on November 16, 2023. Number 6. This is 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded in Mint State 63 Brown by PCGS and proven by CAC. The 1955 double dye has long been a staple of the Lincoln Scent series and an iconic 20th century mint error. An entire generation of collectors owes much of their love for numismatics to endless days as a youngster searching pocket change for this elusive and dramatic mint anomaly. Examples are usually available today, even in mint state, but accessible pieces in the brown color category seldom have good eye appeal. This piece bucks that trend. Each side displays luminous, original satin luster and a bold strike. There is a distinct lack of abrasions, and only a few flecks are noted on the reverse. It was sold for $5,160. Number 5. 1924 S. Buffalo Nickel. Graded as MS-65 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, with its comparatively low mintage of 1,437,000 pieces and poor survival rate in mint state, the 1924S nickel is an established semi-key date, particularly in higher grades, that is sometimes a target of counterfeiting and alteration. Though the piece offered here is unquestionably genuine, it is not hard to imagine a grader looking at the edge suspiciously, since the overall appearance is closer to a Philadelphia release than a San Francisco emission dot while the obverse clearly exhibits above-average detail. It is the reverse that drives home the point, the bison's head is practically complete, and the horn is bold, a rarity even on mint state examples. This one was sold for $11,100. Number 4. This is 1928's Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. A delightful gem red example of this San Francisco issue, struck from a remarkably early die state with none of the distracting metal flow typically seen on branch mint issues from this era. The O in 1 is slightly soft, but the coin is otherwise well struck, and no obtrusive spots are evident. Housed in a green label holder it ended up selling for $18,600. Number 3. This is 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-66 condition with full steps. The 1953 S is one of the strike rarities in the Jefferson Nickel series, posing a challenge for registry collectors focused on full steps coins. PCGS reported just two specimens in MS-66 with FS designation. This particular piece displays satiny luster with a hint of light champagne toning. Moderate dye erosion is apparent on each side, causing metal flow lining in the margins, but the steps of Monticello are sharply defined. It ended up selling for $16,800. Number 2. This is 1961 D. Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. Undoubtedly from an original mint set, this originally and attractively toned Washington Quarter displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Although available in an absolute sense, late-date 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as the 1961D are surprisingly rare in the finest mint state grades, as here. It was sold for $24,000. Number 1. 1909 VDB sent in Prairie 67 plus red condition. Another CAC proven super rare gem. The 1909 VDB Lincoln Cent is indeed a notable and historically significant coin in the Lincoln Cent series. It was the first year of issue for the Lincoln Cent, replacing the Indian Head Cent, and it featured a portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. The initials VDB stand for the coin's designer, Victor David Brenner, and they appear on the reverse of the coin at the bottom dot in the initial minting of the 1909 VDB cent for circulation, the designer's initials were quite prominent. However, public sentiment at the time led to concerns that Brenner's initials were too conspicuous, which could be seen as an act of vanity. As a result, the mint quickly modified the design to reduce the size of the initials dot while the 1909 VDB Lincoln cent is not considered extremely rare, its proof version is more limited in numbers compared to the regular circulation strikes. 
This superb gem ended up selling for $194,062.50 with buyer's fee. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more captivating content about rare coins, fascinating stories, and timeless treasures. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow coin enthusiasts. Number 8. 1936 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PF66 Plus by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1936 Proof Quarter has the lowest mintage in the entire Proof Washington Quarter series. This also happens to be the first year in which Proof Washington Quarters were struck. PCGS reports 15 specimens in MS66 Plus grade with guiding price of $2,750. MS-67 specimens are scarce while, MS-68 graded proof quarters are almost unheard of, with just single specimen certified by PCGS so far. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,170. Number 7. 1941 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded as MS-66 Red, a desirable double dye variety with the strongest spread on the 4 in the date and the Burr in Liberty. Cherry Pickers lists three DDO varieties for the issue, and FS101 is intermediate between FS102 and FS103 in terms of importance. This MS66 specimen ended up selling for $2,160. Number 6. 1924S Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS64 read by PCGS. According to NGC, the widely hoarded from circulation 1935-60, as were all S mint scents, this issue is very scarce and all grades higher than very fine. Mint states survive in smaller numbers than for many other issues of the 1920s, and fully red gems are exceedingly rare. This elusive example ended up selling for $3,600. Number 5. 1956 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, from a mintage of more than 44 million pieces, the 1956 Washington Quarter is readily available in high grade, but the issue becomes scarce at the MS-67 grade level, and finer coins are virtually unobtainable. PCGS has graded only three coins in MS-68, with none finer, while NGC has graded five examples in MS-68, also with none finer. This spectacular MS-68 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and attractive highlights of lime green toning. This specimen was sold for $5,280. Number 4. 1918 Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS-67 read by PCGS. The 1918 Lincoln Scent, struck in the final year of World War I, claims a prodigious mintage of more than 288 million coins. However, the coins circulated heavily and the issue is quite elusive at the MS-67 grade level, with a red designation. This delightful superb gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements and the virtually pristine original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $6,300. Number 5. 1949 D. Franklin Half Dollar graded as MS-67 with full bell lines. The 1949 D. Franklin half dollar is plentiful with full bell lines, although most such coins grade no finer than MS-65. The issue is elusive in MS-66 full bell lines, and the finest pieces known in this strike category are a single MS-67 full bell lines coin at NGC and one other at PCGS as of November. Frosty luster glistens beneath russet gold toning that is deeper on the obverse and lighter on the reverse. The strike is sharp, and each side displays pristine surfaces. It was sold for $7,800. Number 2. 1912 S. Lincoln Scent. Graded as MS-66 read by PCGS. From a smallish mintage of 4.4 million pieces, the 1912 S. Lincoln Scent is a better date in the popular series. With red surfaces, the 1912 S. is a collectible issue in grades up to the MS-65 level, but specimens in MS-66 are condition rarities. This spectacular premium gem exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements, and the impeccably preserved original red surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $10,200. Number 3. 1913 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR67 Plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to NGC, 
The combination of a relatively high mintage and a higher than usual survival rate with red color has made the 1913 Lincoln proof the most readily available of the matte slash satin proofs in high grades. The boost in proof sales may be explained by the debut of the new Buffalo nickel, as the five cent piece was not sold singly but rather as a component of the silver or minor proof sets. This specimen was sold for $84,543.75 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Please, don't forget to hit thumbs up before you watch another video. Stay well and God's will, see you in the next episode. Number 7. 1958 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the Philadelphia Mint struck a relatively small mintage of 6.3 million Washington quarters in 1958. The issue can be located in lower mint state grades without much difficulty, but examples in MS-68 are prime condition rarities. This spectacular MS-68 example exhibits sharply detailed design elements and virtually flawless brilliant surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $1,080. Number 6. 1943 Lincoln Cent Struck on a Silver Dime Planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, quite an attractive example of this popular World War II era that exhibits brazen rotating luster in the fields punctuated by patches of mottled amber, sandy russet, and cobalt blue tone hugging the devices. In the haste of wartime production, a stray 90% silver planchet intended for dime coinage managed to find itself in the striking chamber intended for steel Lincoln cents producing this sensational mistake. Lightly struck, as is expected for the error, with pressure lacking between the dies due to the smaller flan. Brought to fame by the famous 1943 bronze cents, off-planchet 1943 pieces are an especially popular microcosm of error collecting and frequently available because of lower wartime production standards. This error coin was sold for $3,000. Number 5. 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-65 Plus Full Steps. The 1953 S is one of the most difficult issues in the Jefferson Nickel series to acquire in full steps, with only 29 such coins reported at PCGS in all grades. This plus designated gem displays sharp delineation of the steps on Monticello, while the remainder of the coin shows the typical softness associated with the dye erosion of this issue. Delicate champagne color accents each side. No major abrasions are seen. It was sold for $6,300. Number 4. 1943S Mercury Dime. Graded as MS-68 Full Bands by PCGS. Remarkable cherry red, peach, lemon, and green patina encompasses this fully struck and pristine superb gem. Though the 1943S is common in typical uncirculated grades, the eye appeal of the present piece is unsurpassable. This specimen was sold for $9,000. Number 3. 1958D Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as MS67 Plus Full Bell Lines. This is a coin that really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated, the toning that adorns both sides is so vivid and striking. The colors include, but are limited to, salmon pink, antique gold, bright olive and burnt orange. All are iridescent in quality and allow full mint frost to shine forth powerfully as the surfaces rotate under a light. Fully struck and as smooth as the day it emerged from the dyes, this glorious superb gem was sold for $22,700. Number 2. 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR68 by NGC. In 1968, when proof U.S. coinage returned after a three-year hiatus, production was switched from Philadelphia to San Francisco. In accordance with the new Mintmark regulations, an S was supposed to be placed on every obverse proof die, but it did not take long for the first slip-up to occur, and a small number of proof dimes were struck without the S Mintmark and released to the public in proof sets. The surfaces are faintly gold-toned with a hint of obverse contrast. This specimen was sold for $24,000. Number 1. 1950 D. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS67 by PCGS. The curve of the Undermite Mark S is visible at the top left and top side of the subsequent D, one of several fun cherry pickers varieties known for this issue. The surfaces are silvery throughout both sides, with just a light blush of toning, thorough luster, and excellent eye appeal. As demanded of the grade, there are no singular marks anywhere, and the strike is as sharp as ever seen on the issue. 
This nice example ended up selling for $29,375. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Your likes, comments and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Stay well and see you in the next episode. Number 8. 1999 Wide AM Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the reverse of this business strike coin was struck with a reverse proof die accidentally. There are three recognized dates for the Lincoln Cent business strike cents which display a proof reverse design. These are the 1998, 1999 and 2000 Wide AM business strike cents. The 1999 Wide AM is by far the scarcest of the three. As of 2009, this coin commands over $100 even in the lowest condition. Furthermore, thousands of examples of this variety are probably still in circulation. The 1999 wide AM cents can be found in mint state grades and higher with some searching. However, examples in mint state grades will cost several hundred dollars. In grades of MS66 and higher they usually command about $1,000. Coins graded in MS67 will bring about $2,000 with MS68 graded examples bringing in about $4,000 and higher. This MS67 specimen ended up selling for $999.99 with buyer's fee. Number 7. 1952 S. Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS67 full steps by NGC. According to grading service, the typical 1952S nickel is weakly struck at its centers and may reveal shallow lettering from overpolishing of the dyes to extend their useful lives. Often seen as luster that is smooth but not especially bright. Coins having either 5FS or 6FS are rare. The few repunched mint mark dyes documented for this issue are of little interest to anyone outside of variety specialists. This specimen fetched a sum of $2,280. Number 6. 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. Highly sought after Superbird variety. According to Jamie Hernandez, in 1952 there were not that many channels to watch, so most people who owned a TV were very familiar with the very popular Superman TV show. It is strongly believed that a Mint employee, who was probably also a big fan of Superman himself, deliberately struck an S Mint mark on the reverse die of a 1952 Proof Washington Quarter. Consequently, all 1952 proof quarters struck from this die also contain the S mint mark on the eagle's chest. Because of the prominent S mint mark located on the eagle's chest, this popular variety is now widely recognized as the Superbird variety. It was sold for $4,000.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1961 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS66 full steps by PCGS. There is no doubt that Mint State 1961 Jefferson Nickels are easy to locate. However, everything changes when the strike is considered. PCGS has certified more than 1,300 1, nickels, yet only 24 of those submissions are designated as full steps. Delicate gold toning appears over the satiny gray luster of this lovely premium gem. This specimen was sold for $5,520. Number 4. 1958 D. Washington Quarter Dollar. Graded as MS68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, Rose, Pine Green, Gold, and Magenta are among the rich and vibrant colors that adorn this rare top-grade 1958 D. Washington Quarter. The strike is sharp, and glistening, satiny surfaces are devoid of bothersome abrasions. It was sold for $8,400. Number 3. 1956 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR68 plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, as the prices for proof sets since 1936 continued to enjoy spectacular growth, sales of the 1956 set nearly doubled from the previous year. Much of this was pure speculation, but the hobby was also experiencing a large influx of beginners. Fully red gems, including cameo specimens, are available in sufficient quantity to supply advanced collectors. Ultra cameo or deep cameos are scarce to rare and higher grades. This PR68 plus gem fetched a sum of $9,562.50 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1955 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 plus red by PCGS. A sharp, carbon-free superb gem with exceptional surface preservation and satiny copper red mint luster. The 1955 Lincoln scent is scarce in this lofty grade, 
and CAC endorsed pieces are rare. This superb gem ended up selling for $38,400. Number 1. 1917 S Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS66 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. As it did at the other mints, cent production rose dramatically at San Francisco in 1917. Due to the hoarding of S mint cents that collectors pursued for decades, moderately worn examples of this issue are quite common as compared to its Denver cousin. Mint state coins are not rare, except with full red color, which is seldom seen. This rare specimen ended up selling for $81,572.62 with buyer's fee. So that wraps up today's episode. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Take care.